Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about a function call by pointers. Okay, so, so far we have learned about function call by value and the reference. Now this is about pointers. Okay, so first I will show you why we need to call function by pointers. Okay, so for that I need an example here. So let's create a variable x and initialize it with some value now pass it to some function okay like this and create another function and get that value here new x now new x you want to change here okay and let's suppose you are printing this x here okay this is fairly simple code what is happening is you are creating a variable called x passing that x to this function now that x will become this variable now you are changing that variable 20 and coming back from that function because you have terminated and after coming back here you will go to the next statement and you will just print the value of x so let's compile this see the value is coming 10 shocking right maybe if you notice the point here the point is you are changing this x here but still it is not getting changed so if your requirement is like you have one variable in this function which is a main function and you want to change the variable which is local to the main inside some another function like this then you have to pass it by pointer or reference okay so reference we have already talked about now we'll see the pointers and why this is not working i'll show you the example here so this is the example your x is a variable we all know if you are creating a variable it needs a memory okay so let's call this memory address 21 and we are holding 10 inside that okay so this is 0 cross 21 this is the address part and this is the value part okay so we are pointing this x here now you are calling this change which is taking you here and in the entry point only you are creating this new x okay so this is like this we have space for this one and this is 0 cross 22 and you are passing 10 here see we are passing x so 10 will come here also now what you are doing new x is equal to 20 so you are erasing this one and writing 20 there okay and after completing this function you are coming back from this function and executing this line so x is still holding 10 here okay so this was the memory location which was given to x okay so it is still holding 10 that's why we are getting 10 we are not getting 20 and if you want to get the 20 your answer is either use reference or use pointer we have already talked about the reference in my previous video so this video is about using pointers so let's go ahead and implement that function so you just have to pass the address of x like this and there if you are passing the address you have to get it as integer pointer and this should be dereferenced okay and that's it if you will compile this now you will get 20 so this is what we wanted right and why this code is working let's try to understand this code now so the same thing will happen in this code also this x is created we have the memory where we have written 10 and that address is still 0 cross 21 okay and after this line we'll execute this line so change is calling this function but wait a minute this time we are sending the address of x so i told you this is your address and this is your value so we are sending address not the value okay in previous case this one we were just sending 10 here see we are sending x okay but in this case we are sending address of x so we will send this part okay 0 cross 21 now if it is address and you have studied the pointers in that case 
if this address is of type integer see this x is integer okay so this address of x would be of integer type so for that you have to create an integer pointer here in order to get that address so what you did you created a memory you will have your own address let's suppose we are calling it 0 cross 22 and what you are doing you are initializing 0 cross 21 here okay so this is what this new x would look like okay so this is your x variable this is your new x okay and the address of your new x is this one and the value at that address is this one which is ultimately the address of x okay so this is the value and this is address now what we are doing after coming inside here we are just dereferencing by using this star operator the actual x okay what do i mean by that if you are writing this statement it means this dereferencing operator and new x is currently holding this address okay so 0 cross 21 is equal to 20 so what you are saying this is the address i want to dereference that and dereferencing means if you got some address you want to dereference means you will be pointing to the memory area what it is pointing to okay so this is your whole x part and this x part is pointing to this memory area where you are storing 10 right so dereferencing means you are pointing to this location okay so if you are initializing 20 there it means you are changing this location okay now instead of 10 it will be holding 20 like this so as you initialize 20 here and we are hitting this curly bracket it means we are terminating this function coming back so we have come back from here to here now we'll execute this statement so x is holding 20 that's why we got 20 so ultimately what we have achieved is the local to this main function i mean this variable was local to this main function but we have changed this particular variable in another function by sending the address of that okay so this was integer x so you created integer pointer and let's suppose you are having some character c is equal to a okay so this is what you have initialized and now you are calling that change function on address of c okay this one then here you will be writing it like change character pointer new c okay and the rest of the things will go like dereferencing to that particular memory new c is equal to you are changing it to b okay so c was holding a you pass the address you get it into character pointer because your variable was a character so the address would be character pointer okay and now here same star sign is used and this star sign is for dereferencing that particular memory what you are holding inside this new c and trying to initialize the new value on that particular memory address okay so this is what the function call by pointer says okay it is really very simple you want to change something send the address of that don't send by value okay and you can achieve the same behavior by using a function called by references which i have already talked about and maybe in future i will create a video talking about the differences between sending by reference and sending by pointer okay so what is the difference between these two so for this video thanks for watching